We're rolling. rolling. Oh, okay. Well, um, hi, hi. I'm Allison. Russell Gulick. Russell. Russell Gulick. Gulick. Yep. Gulick. Yep. Ch or g. 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 Gulick. Yep. Gulick. Okay. It, it runs hard, yeah. Totally. Little, you know, little Dutch, little German. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just two doors down from Russell here. I've walked by his work a couple of times, but I really didn't have time to stop in and, and take a closer look. But I'm here doing it right now, as you would be, just uh, fresh right off, you know, uh, taking a closer look if, if you'd come down to an art show, and I recommend you do so. But anyway, Russell, first of all, I'm looking at it, and it's got a lot of texture, wonderful subject, wonderful color, but you've got some things going on in there under the surface it mm -hmm. looks like do you treat your canvases before you begin painting and this is canvas right I, yeah, I i treat my my canvas like any other artist would they prime it yeah. they build up where they want but as i start composing the actual composition mm -hmm. i use different media spray paints tape pencil marker the collage piece to, wow. to either take out imperfections or something that i don't like uh -huh. instead of painting it out i just block it out yeah. and i slowly add more layers into the composition with glazed paint spray paint house paint marker wow. pencil white out so it's not straight oil or acrylic no. it's a little bit of everything it's everything yeah so you get now i'm looking at that piece right here Let, let's walk over and show it because you know this piece is the one that keeps catching my eye and i really love this piece now this piece is showing a little bit of uh, all of that that he's talking about i can see some pencil lines up in mm -hmm. here it almost looks like a, a shark or some kind of fish swimming through there you have some um streaky lines kind of drizzling mm -hmm. down is is that part of your medium like thinners or something like that uh, i i right do now? use uh, as i build the base i do use uh, paint strippers mm -hmm. just to kind of recreate mm -hmm. the texture and kind of burn things up just to be experimental yeah. but yeah as you see the pencil it's all just kind of slowly build as the composition stops i'll just leave it there and, and start with something else and mm -hmm. work in different phases so some things stay pretty loose and yeah. other parts of the composition stay pretty get really yeah. tight and yeah. i love showing the drips i love the i believe in the accident mm -hmm. I think uh, so too. i think that's a big part of being a painter is not so trying to be too uh, clean and that's perfect right. yep you can't isn't perfect so you know art reflects life in, in so many ways now yeah you've got such a wonderful painterly effect going on in here with the brush strokes showing a little bit of canvas showing through is this piece primarily oil or? nope it's all mostly acrylics all oh, okay. most it's, it's mostly uh water-based uh astm paints uh -huh. So you have your house paints, your spray paints, which do have some xylenes and stuff like that. Yeah. But I only use it for small amounts because I, I am trying to be chemical free. But I do believe in graffiti and all the different types of art movement. So I try to incorporate where I can. So it's kind of a graffiti, highwayman, marine artist. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Graffiti, highwayman, marine artist. Yes. That pretty much it, says it. I, I, yeah. I, I've, I've enjoyed all that facets of art. Yeah. So. And, little, and it's kind of mixed media. It's two yep. dimensional, but it is mixed media. I, I, it's impressionism, highwayman. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I grew up watching about Highway Men, coming yeah. from Jupiter, which is my hometown. So, oh, from you know. Jupiter, growing up with the Highway Men, right down the street. The highwaymen. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Have you ever sold by the side of the highway, like the Highway Men? Uh, and some desperation, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you buy a free watermelon, you get a free piece of artwork. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> We've got some of that in Lakeland. Yeah. Ruby, Ruby is down there. On oh, the nice. Uh, I forgot her last name. I just know her work. Full <laughs> cart, very full carty. Mm -hmm. But anyway, well, where can we find you? Where can people come hey, see guys, more of your work? Uh, maybe. Do you have any upcoming shows? I know the yeah. season is kind of season is drying. Um, yeah. No only shows lined up, but um, you know, I'm out of Jupiter. Mm -hmm. uh, RussellGulickArt.com is my website. Okay. Um, RussellGulickArt. Uh, RussellGulickArt.com. Yep. And we'll put that on the screen. Great. And um, are you, you know, showing in any galleries? Up we have there? a couple local uh, framing galleries here in town that okay. I show at. So okay. Eminem Studios, which is in Jupiter, is a great family-run uh, framing shop that's supported me like a cat that never left. You know, yeah, they fed me yeah. once and I never left. I know. So. <laughs> Like that. Yeah. So, what about um, in the typical season of mm -hmm. art shows? Do you do many art shows in the whole Florida um, state? And this is like my, this is my first month doing this. You're kidding me. This is like your your first month doing mm -hmm. art shows. So this is a brand I'm, new. I'm not new to the industry, not new to but I was kind of like the the black sheep for a while, just kind of on the outskirts. My mentor was Joe LaPierre, who was a famous uh, painter up in our area, uh -huh. and uh, he taught me about the shows. And my mom did shows when I was a little kid, stenciling hats. Yeah. Uh, a little more craftier side, so mm -hmm. there was, I've always kind of been. I know the ups and downs of it, weather. So you, you know, I just kind of was a, one work. one foot in, one foot out. Yes, I, yeah. I, full time job. I walked away from two months ago just to start this. How and many months ago? Two months ago. Two months ago. Quit my job, walked away from it. Just tired of doing construction and oh my, oh my. Um, you know to pursue this. You are well on your way. You have great work.
work. Thank you. I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Um, Good luck I'm with you guys. Awesome. You know, get on Zap and upload I'm, I'm on Zap. And, yep. Yeah, yep. I'm learning to ins and outs. This is an award winner here. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank you for everything. It's a pleasure. I'll be Great. looking for Yes, you. yes. I want to connect you pictures. guys. Get, yeah. All right, folks. You go look for Craig and or Russell. Russell at his work, <laughs> uh, at his website, and uh, maybe we'll edit that part out, you know? <laughs> maybe not. You know, it is what it is. Live you believe, believe in the accident. <laughs> I've, been I've been called worse. Yeah. I've been called worse. <laughs> it's called yep, Sarah Lippity, yep. right? Yeah, believe in the accident. I'm a goofball. I've had a couple cups of coffee today. I'm a little, ah. We'll go get a beer and go break down. <laughs> no, yeah. Beer to break it down. Break yeah. Down. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe a little later. Yeah. But anyway, all right. Well, we'll Great. see you thank soon. You. And thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Bye, Russell.